Hello, and welcome to Friday. We had a busy, busy day today, where I spent pretty much all of my time on the computer. Um, I hinted at a project that I was going on about uh, last night, and well, today was a continuation of that project. However, um, things kind of got out of hand very quickly. So, this will kind of hint at it, but, um, you can probably put the pieces together. I won't talk about it exactly what it is, but uh, I'll talk about the process that I did to get there and what you can kind of expect when it officially launches or when I officially uh, tell you what it is. I won't get into specifics right now, but um, a couple months ago, uh, maybe I think it was even less than a month, um, I got an email from our good friend Google. Now, uh, if, if I search really quickly, uh, <laughs> I'm going to search my email for Google and just see what comes up. Uh, yeah, I got an email, uh, basically a month ago, um, oh yeah, it wasn't even from Google, uh, it was from my, one of my, uh, well, we'll, we'll just talk about it. So, uh, yeah, like a little, little over a month ago, I got an email, well, not an email, but there was a whole thing going on about um, Google and their sale of domains. Now Google uh, launched uh, their website selling service a couple of uh, years ago. Um, I remember getting emails about it officially being out of beta I think last year or uh, maybe yeah it was probably last year but uh, they started selling websites for a little bit and officially they have said that they're kind of sunsetting that. What that means is that they're no longer going to be doing that. And they passed off all of their blessings over to Squarespace. Now I've been using Squarespace for a couple of years now. It's what my website rickvagabond.com runs on. It's in the link of every description of every video. And every, t like, you know, I talk about it. I talk about whatever album I'm talking about. Um, you know, I talked about Jubilee, I've talked about uh, Mannequin Pussy's Patience. Um, every couple of weeks we talk about an album that I rate a review and put on the site. Now, Squarespace is fine and dandy, but um, I there's plenty of other website host providers. Um, GoDaddy, Hover, um, Uniregistry is one that I used years ago. But I put all my eggs in one basket um, two, three years ago, probably, yeah, something like that, and put it all on Google Domains. Because, you know, I figured, you know, I think one of the biggest companies in the world would uh, not shut down their program. Um, but turns out, Google, as they do, sends things to the Google Graveyard. Uh, there's a whole website about Google Graveyarding or Sunsetting products that uh, have lasted for years and years and years. Um, sim come, it can be simple things that um, only existed for, you know, maybe a year at most. While others, um, there was one recently that just, you know, lasted for a long, long time. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, it's a really cool website and uh you know google you could probably find it if you just look up uh google graveyard or something like that either way um they're sunsetting their domain registry program and they're passing it off to squarespace now while i'm a okay fan of squarespace i don't want all of my websites there um i don't want squarespace to own my websites i they can use the plat like i have the platform for hosting a website and it's probably 
I think it's slightly cheaper to bundle it with them, but I, well, yeah, I spent today switching to Cloudflare. Now, Cloudflare is a very interesting company. Um, they pretty much deal with uh, proxying and like protecting websites from DDoS attacks. That's their main business, just like keeping um, businesses websites safe from potential hackers. I had been using Cloudflare for maybe two years now for something very specific. I own a website uh, that basically allows me to connect well that okay so I use a one of my servers here has a script that's running that pings Cloudflare every minute and be like and tells it hey this is my IP address update this website's IP address to mine now uh, if you're living at a house typically you run a um, dynamic uh, IP address meaning that your IP address will change whenever your ISP ch decides to change it for me that r rarely happens it pretty much only happens when the power goes out which um, hasn't happened in a while uh, what is this up time over at least a month it hasn't happened in quite a bit sometimes it happens more often than uh, like every couple of weeks but recently it hasn't been happening so that's fine and dandy here so as a result I uh, use that for setting up my VPN access um, I just changed the VPN command well the VPN settings so it's like hey your website uh, instead of using an IP address let's say uh, 100.5.6.7 or something like that um, your IP had just changed while you're, you know, away from the house and now you can't get back into your stuff. Now I had backups for that and like I could easily get back in. Speaking of, I need to set one of those up, actually set up a backup for that. Um, because I, um, the backup I had, I, uh, what did I do? I reformatted it and we started from scratch, so I need to fix that. But, uh, yeah, I set up a backup uh, so that if my IP address changes, um, I, I can get back into the house. Like, I have a VPN in this room, I have a VPN in the other room, so I can remote into my stuff as needed. So I was like, hey, let's swap, let's move the four domains I own. Um, swap them over to Cloudflare, and everything's fine. That was a whole process. Um, yet yeah, unlocking domains and transferring them over takes a bit of time, and it did pull my websites down for about an hour, um, because I didn't realize Cloudflare does something kind of cool. It proxies uh, IP addresses, meaning that if I enable this setting, um, it will display a different IP than the one it needs to, which is not ideal if you're setting up a website for, uh, like the one I have, but it is very, very cool if you're doing it when you are, uh, doing something like with your, um, IP address, with your personal IP address, you can proxy that and you can hide it. If you're going through another um, website owner, like I have a website with Google, 